still buying gold. I bought some the other day because this guy has uh, some 10 ounce bars where you know, you know, kilos come in. And they're hard to get. I mean, it's really yeah. hard to get. That's right. And it's getting hard. I couldn't even buy silver the other day. I mean, this is 2020. This is the perfect book for somebody who really wants to find out how you're being screwed. I mean, now how, what's real and what's fake? And the US dollar is as fake as it comes. I'm laughing right now because Yellen and Janet Yellen and Powell are on attack against Bitcoin. And and, the, and Yellen says it's not it's not efficient. And I said, well, is printing a trillion dollars efficient? And I'm going, are you kidding me? And Powell is now making a warning, creating a warning against Bitcoin. So they're scared right now because the system is- I saw is the price high. going from 400, 450, 500, and I thought, why is this happening? And you talk about silver, this is a, a silver note. Remember the right. dollars used yeah. to be exchangeable for an ounce of silver. And they also had a gold note. You know, this was $20 for an ounce of gold. And so it's nothing has happened to gold over the years. It's only the money. And, and the subtitle of the book is The War Against Your Wealth and How to Win It. Right. And it, the only regret I have about the book, Robert, is I should have called the book The War Against Your Wealth because people have all these misconceptions about gold because in the media they talk negatively about gold because gold needs to stay down in order to keep faith in the dollar high. So if you question the dollar, you'll say, why am I doing any of these things? I mean, you wrote an incredible book that impacted me in the 90s, which is when I was starting in my career. I'm, I'm not quite as young as I look. And I wonder if you wrote that book today, maybe poor dad would be the smart one because the Fed is trying to get you to to do things that go against some of the things that you and I were fond of in the 90s, right? There's not a lot of point in saving if you get no interest and you lose 5% a year of inflation. I mean, there's you start looking at the system that we live in and the war is against your wealth. And that's what we want people to see. Right. And uh, they can always learn more. So I really would recommend people getting uh, your book, Why Goal, right now. And it really is a war against your wealth. And then, you know, you got to know what to do. You got to know how to win this war, right? I mean, we're not just in a Vietnam quagmire, right? We want to actually win this. And, and what we want to show people is, is that if you see what's happening, you can get ahead of this. You right. can see where this is going. And, and the best thing right now is, you know, that we have this war between Bitcoin, you know, we have, we have Peter Schiff on one side and Max Kaiser on the other side for Bitcoin. It's a food fight. And right. but it's silver, gold, and you know, I, I, I shifted to Bitcoin. I, I still bought as much gold as, I mean, I'm still buying gold. I bought some the other day because this guy has uh, some 10 ounce bars where, you know, you know, kilos come in and they're hard to get. I mean, it's really yeah. hard to get. That's right. And it's getting hard. I couldn't even buy silver the other day. I mean, this is 2021. Well, what does that but tell you? Supplies are gone. <clears throat> That's right. And, and that's and, the point. So, plus, and plus they're suppressing people, the prices. They're people don't know this. The prices. Yeah, they don't they don't understand how this works, Robert. So imagine if you go to McDonald's and there's a dollar menu and they say you can get this item for a dollar. You order the item and they say it'll be three fifty. Wait a minute. I thought it was a dollar. Yeah, that's right. That's the price. But if you want one, it's three fifty. That's how it works with gold. The price is eighteen hundred. Oh, I'd like to have an ounce. Okay, it'll be two thousand. Well, wait a minute, I, I don't understand. And you gotta wait two months for it. So why is the price 1800? Well, that's just the price because we're able to financially engineer the futures market to keep the price low. But if you actually want an ounce- So thank you very much. So what is your background? What 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 gets you interested in gold? Well, it's it's in the book, I, I talk about how I first got interested at $300 an ounce. I remember saying to my father, I think I'll get an ounce of gold. And he's like, why would you want that? It's you, what are you going to do? Buy groceries with that? I mean, it's 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 functionally irrelevant. Oh, 2000, was, right? 2000. Yeah. Right. And so I really thought about it and I, and I did not buy it. And then about two years later, a friend was buying Krugerrands and I and I similar to you, you know, I held the Krugerrand and I, it was mesmerizing. And I saw the price going from 1971, August 15th, President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. Of course, I didn't hear about it because he is tricky dick. And he announced it during the television program Bonanza. And I was in uh, Camp Pendleton, uh, California, getting ready to go to Vietnam. So I kind of missed that whole program on TV show Bonanza. 
But I was flying in Vietnam when I realized that I didn't know anything about gold. And so I flew behind enemy lines and looked for a gold mine. And I walked up to this little Vietnamese woman who was selling gold at a gold mine in Vietnam. One problem was it was behind enemy lines now because we were losing our war, got our asses kicked. So I asked her, uh, you know, and I didn't know what gold looks like because in 1972, it was illegal for Americans to own gold. And I thought that was really strange. So I was gonna, my education was on the fly, that's what I'm trying to say. So I tried to negotiate this Vietnamese woman, the cute little thing, had bright red teeth because they chew beetle nuts. And uh, gold used to be 35 an ounce and it was now floating around 50. So I thought maybe because I'm behind enemy lines, I have green back, I have dollars. I was in a negotiating position and she looked at me and I don't think she went to Harvard or anything, but she just looked at me and she's laughed at my partner and I'm my co-pilot and she goes, spot. I said, what is spot? And I was being educated. And what I found out a few days later, that spot means that's the price of gold all over the world. I mean, price has a uniform, gold has a uniform price, which means it's real money. Then I realized it's got, got rid of that. But what people don't understand is, is that the government's in charge of these things. And so you want something that's outside of the system. People say, well, Bitcoin's outside of the system. OK, maybe. But you have to be connected to a digital network in order to transact. So it's actually quite easy to restrict and control and tax the Bitcoin transactions. Whereas when you hold an ounce of gold, you're holding that money that you're talking about, that wealth in the palm of your hand. And there's no way to track or trace that. You can melt it down. You can make a belt buckle or a necklace or gold teeth out of it, whatever you want. And no one can ever trace where that comes from. Now that matters when you have turmoil. So you, so it doesn't matter when things are smooth and easy, but things are not smooth and easy right now. Well, that's why I'm going back to my friend five years ago. And the other, and so I just talked to him and said, how much silver did you buy? He goes, I didn't buy any. He says, well, I don't understand it. So that's why I suggest people read your book, Why Gold Right Now, because then you can make a better distinction between silver, gold, and Bitcoin. They're all different. They have strengths and they have weaknesses. Anything else you want to say about that? That's what you need to understand. Oh, plus get some money out of this country. <laughs> you know? it's if not you that can. Hard. Yeah, if you, can. you can. That's right. It's becoming increasingly difficult to, to get another citizenship or to have a bank account overseas. The walls are closing in. And so that's right. People have got to understand that gold is not some speculative thing. You know, everybody's hooked on 100 percent returns every day in the market and reading Reddit blogs and you know trading stocks all, all the time. It's not like this. We're talking about your wealth. You're wealthy. If you go to work every day, you have wealth. You're earning wealth to have a better life. That's, that's, that's what we're talking about. There's a lot to understand on this subject because, like I say, gold and silver is God's money. Bitcoin and crypto is people's money. It's outside the system. That's right. And, and you can do it legally. And I'm, I'm laughing right now because Yellen and Janet Yellen and Powell are on attack against Bitcoin. And and, the, and Yellen says it's not it's not efficient. I said, well, is printing a trillion dollars efficient? And I'm going, are you kidding me? And Powell is now making a warning, creating a warning against Bitcoin. So they're scared right now because the system is collapsing. Well, so they know they know them. what's best. They know what's best for us, Robert. Oh, Always, correct. right? Correct. That, I'm from yeah, the government here to help yeah. you. One, this is the perfect book for somebody who really wants to find out how you're being screwed. I mean, now how, what's real and what's fake. And the US dollar is as fake as it comes. If you're saving the US dollar, you're an idiot. If you're saving dollars, you're a bigger idiot. So if you idiots out there saving US dollars or pesos or yen or euro, get EB Tucker's book, Why Go, Why Now? Because you're getting screwed.